What's up everyone, and it's the month of October. The air is getting chilly in some places, not mine. There's the smell of basic white mom's pumpkin spice latte, and lawn spookies are dotting the landscape. And with that comes the scary games to really get us in the spooktober feel. And today, we'll be looking at Re Colon Turn. Return One Way Trip is a 2D side-scrolling puzzle game, releasing October 14th from the developers from Red Ego Games. You play as Saki, who is out on a camping trip with her friends until, shocker here, in the middle of the night, everyone disappears. Saki walks through the middle of the woods looking for her friends till she falls upon an old train. Thinking her friends are in the train, she goes to investigate. Lo and behold, her friends are there, and they all return to the camp happy and safe. Well, actually, except... The doors are locked, there's ghosts haunting the train, and the train keeps teleporting Saki back to the past. So Saki must investigate why the train is there and haunted while trying to save her friends and survive an unspeakable evil hellbent on avenging unrequited love. Return in all honesty labels itself as a horror game, but I would really class this as a suspense puzzle game. There was nothing really scary about it, more of just the tension and atmosphere of this game can keep you on edge. No jump scares, nor things that'll make you shit your pants. It may have more to do with the symbolism than the game to scare people. A lot of Japanese masks, uh, and what I would really imagine are bad omens that are in this game, that would scare an audience who is familiar with myths and legends. I do know some of the masks and references they are making, but I don't have them vividly in my mind like someone who would have grown up with them. But there are outstanding things that are in this game that still make it great. One big one is the story itself. It's well flushed out, well written, even for being localized, I do believe. I already gave you the sarcastic synopsis of the game, and that's where I'm gonna have to leave it because the story is the main focus, and I really don't wanna ruin that for you. Another is the art and sound design. The soundtrack and ambient noise that are in this game are solid, giving you that suspense and tension that you will feel in this game. And the artwork, on the other hand, is amazing. Wonderful hand-drawn elements that are placed in this game that give great detail and give some of the spooks along the way. Also, with a nice vibrant pixel art with a nice smooth fluid animation, it's just candy to the eyes. My biggest thing, though, that I loved about this game was the puzzles. Some of the puzzles had me grabbing a pen and paper so I could remember things that I needed to do. Others were kind of like hidden in plain sight till you had the aha moment, and then it falls all into place. And some cryptic puzzles that I don't think I saw that I might actually have to go back and try again. They took the time for their puzzles and they wanted this to be a key feature in the game, and you can tell. In all honesty, I can't think of any negatives in this game. It's pretty solid. I think if there's anything to complain about, it's really the fetch quest. To walking around from one train to the other train can be annoying, but really, it didn't detract from really the experience on its own. So, if you guys are looking for a great suspense 2D side scroller, Return is a great one to pick up. It's about four hours of gameplay, and I don't know the price, they've never released that info. But if you guys are interested in the game, it's down in the description and a link to the Discord is there as well. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already so we can just keep coming out with games in this October spooktober season. But like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video and have fun.